Effort, go ahead and do the intro. How's it going, Good Back Crew? Do it again without what, much. What? What's trending? trending? No. Oh, Jake Paul knocked the fuck out of Tyler Woodley. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Damn. People think it's rigged, but I don't think it's rigged. What I you think about the fight? Mm, that motherfucker got beat the fuck up. That shit. He got smacked Man, down. He got he got knocked out. Nah, nah. <laughs> I don't. You think it was rigged? Do y'all think it was rigged? No, I think he just knocked him out. Yeah, I don't think it's rigged. People are like it's rigged and all this. I highly doubt Jake Paul fucking trains every day, puts all in that work just to fucking rig a fight. Like, come on now. Yeah, man. I doubt that. Who the fuck does that? It's like me actually studying a whole ass math test. Just to cheat? Just to cheat at the end. Like, hey, what the you fuck? You study like 12 a.m. Mm-hmm. But you got to give it to, um, what's his name? Tyron Woolley. Tyron, Tyron yeah. he's a legend, he, though. He's he took a, the fight in, in like, UFC notice legend, of two bro. weeks. So I, I respect him for that. And hey, I think that's probably why he got knocked I, out. I, I think he time. was winning, though. I think he was winning the fight. He really? was. Before, yeah, I think he was. He was getting. He was. He was. He was hurting him pretty badly. Yeah. But I don't know. I, well, just, I, I feel like that wind up. Boom. I, 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 feel like, dude, I already knew from the start Jake Paul was gonna win, bro. The, but it's because the thing like they got too tired and then they just got like too confident and then it relaxed and then boom, he got knocked out. Yeah, bro. I think I think he got cocky with the fight. Did you see the cut on his forehead? That, that shit was, was deep. That was from a elbow. That, that was shit was elbow deep. Yeah, he elbowed yeah. him. That shit he was deep. Badly. Yeah. Yeah. It so was video. like. Fuck, I don't like. I don't even know how to describe how deep that shit was. Remember that one USC fight we saw, Efren, with Which the one? with the girl with the fat ass bump on her forehead. Oh like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she got straight. It was fist to the know, forehead. I, I forgot their name. She went. She went. But it was like a, a I, Polish girl. I don't know. If her I put name. a picture. I think she was Polish. I don't know. It know, was I don't a know. Polish girl versus like a, a, a Chinita. A, Chinita, yeah, Chinese girl. Yeah. I think so she was the Chinese. Chinese. The Chinita was. Yeah. She was, she was winning. She won the fight. Yeah, but she was fast, bro. She went. She was giving Boom. those one, two. Great hey, in the I think that was fight of the night because that was the that was the night Romero and Israel Israel uh, Adesanya, yeah. they were fighting and that shit was trash. So they yeah. that, they got fight of the night. Well, let's talk about something scary since it's That's Christmas right. and stuff. I feel like it's a perfect time to talk about something scary. We haven't talked about anything, anything scary on the podcast in a while. So all right, so this is the story. It was Mexico versus USA, and I was watching the game right here in the living room, and I was laying down on the couch and I was watching the game. I was like, "Fuck, my phone's about to die." And I was like, I'm going to go to my room and charge my phone, you know. And I'm going to go leave it in there and charge. So I get up. I start walking down the hallway, as you can see right here, the hallway. And I see my mom in my room. And my dad in my room, too. And they're praying heavily in my room. And I was just like, what the fuck? Why, why are you guys in my room praying? And then they were like, let us just finish. And they were finishing praying. And I put my phone to charge. And I walked out, let them finish praying. And then they walk out. And I go to them. I walk up to them. I was like, hey, why are you guys in my room praying? Like, what happened? And then my mom was like, oh, it's because I was walking by and checking to see if you guys leave the light on or anything. Because me and Efren have, like, the tendency of, like, leaving the light on or leaving the, va- the you know, the fan on or leaving something on in the yeah. room. And, you know, electricity bill, we got to pay for that. <laughs> so there, so my mom always goes and double check if we didn't leave anything on. So she was walking by a room and she wanted to see if we left the light on or anything. But she took a glance. Like, she peeked over our room to see if we left the fan on. And as she peeked, she saw a lady, like an old lady carrying a baby like yeah. a, like a four third three-year-old baby like on her shoulder and like she, and as my mom peeked she kind of peeked too like at the same time and my mom saw it my mom got scared and went back and the lady too my mom went into her room she told my dad like hey there's someone in like in the kid's room like go check and she went in there and checked and there was nobody in there that's scary bro and i was like what the fuck you literally saw that in my room like right now i was like what the fuck i'm, I'm gonna sleep in there later and I walk in my room, I'm like, fuck, this lady's in here somewhere. Like, where the fuck would she be? But yeah, that shit was creepy. And I was just like, fuck. Like, picture, like, you're walking and you see a lady in your room and holding a kid and looking at you. It was like, not like a, like an old lady, bro. Like, old lady. So a scary old lady. Yeah. And that shit was crazy. Ever since that day, me and Efren been, like, hearing shit in there. Huh, Efren? Like, once in a while, we hear something in there. Like, the, the curtains move or the light turns on and off or, like... I don't know, we just, some weird shit happens. Like, one time, me and Efren were, like, we were just fixing our clothes, like, organizing our clothes, hanging on, we were doing laundry. We have this button in our, like, this button that turns on the electricity, so, you know, we can save power. Yeah. And the only way to, the only way the light to turn on, if you have to push that button. If you don't push that button, the light doesn't turn on. For some reason, the light turned on without the button, the button being pushed. And me and Efren looked at each other, we're like, what the fuck? 
fuck? And we were just like, all right, I guess. And we just kept going. Like, we didn't even do anything. That shit was creepy. That shit was pretty trippy because that thing doesn't turn. It turns off by itself. It doesn't turn on by itself. Yeah. Like, actually, that's what tripped us out. Like, what the fuck? Why does it turn off? Yeah. Like, Why did it turn on by itself? Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. That's scary. And okay. we were like, what the fuck? And do we, mm, it, we haven't really heard or done, seen anything recently. It's been pretty chill. I think she's on vacation or something, you know, holidays. Yeah. I don't think she, she went back to Hosea family. I don't think she's haunting the, around this time of the year. The baby grew up. <laughs> the baby grew up. The baby was like, I don't want to be here no more. Oh, Efren, talk about that Mexican TikTok guy. The one you, you wanted to tell us about. On my notes, I have it down as Mexicans always be encountering ghosts. That shit's funny. Oh yeah, if, but like we realized that when we would, because me, Junior, and uh, Angel, we'd watch scary like videos. Every 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 video is a guy, a Mexican fool, going like, "A la verga!" Like, yeah, bro, <laughs> they're running he's, away. He's not wrong. Like we we'll watch them, like the white people, they'd be like, "Oh my god, what is that? Let's leave, let's leave!" And the Mexican like, "A chingado!" <laughs> A la verga, way. He's like, no mommy's way. But like, this is the video I have right here. I'm like, <laughs> That's just funny. We'll play it for you guys as we're watching it. Amigos, son a una 26 de la madrugada. Y estoy solo. Ya van tres veces que me tocan la puerta a mi casa. Y relativamente, pues yo estoy solo. Pero, pues, la verdad es que sí me da miedo. La neta, no sé ni qué onda en mi casa. Y, pues, sí me da un chingo de miedo. Let's go. No mames, vete a la verga. No, 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 no mames. No mames. No, no, no mames. Vete a la verga. No, neta, vete a la verga. Vete a la verga. Se acaba de caer esta madre. No, 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 no mames. No, no mames. No, no mames. Fuck no. I could have sworn I heard like a girl like laughing in it. Bro, like. That's the, that, that shit's pretty funny though. Like, he's yeah, like, it's no mames. I love verga. Vete yeah. la verga. He says, that shit's pretty funny though. When I see that, I was like, oh, I have to talk about this in the podcast. It's just funny. Well, it's, the, I think I, I, I fucking hate like talking about like scary shit because I'll be like thinking I'd be seeing shit, bro. Um, I swear. Oh, you get paranoid? Yeah. I thought I seen somebody move right there. Oh, oh what the fuck? fuck? Oh, nah, nah, it was tripping, boy. You tripping. Do, do you guys um run when you guys turn off the lights? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Ever since I was like, to this day, I still do, bro. <laughs> bro I like, I be spitting my soup and, and soda just running <laughs> over here, like. Like sometimes I I try to play it cool and be like, bro, nobody chasing me. But then I like I get anxiety <laughs> or like I get I'm like fuck and I just <laughs> run, bro. I'm like fuck, bro. Man. I be doing that shit without here, bro. I be turning off the light and then I'll run and then right when I reach the door to come in, I be walking like all smooth. You close the thing, like, <laughs> <laughs> like fuck, this one almost got me. <laughs> What is what are some things that you guys would do when you're younger? I, I used to eat mud. What the, what the fuck? fuck? Yeah, I used to eat mud. Why you say that so calmly? You ate mud? <laughs> that shit was good. I'm gonna lie. <laughs> Highly recommend. You feel me? You say it. You say it. <laughs> nah, for real. Oh my god, this shit delicious. Like, you know when like we're playing hide and seek and we look at George, he's like, he's in the corner. Mud. Like, what the fuck? You eating mud? Cause he's like. <laughs> 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 I hope that camera caught that shit. That shit looks so stupid. <laughs> what they always tell me, like, if you're in a car and you leave your, the the light on from the car, we're gonna get pulled over. Oh yeah, is that is that not legal? No, right? that's not legal. It's you not can legal. have the light on. Mom still tells me this. Day. She's like, <laughs> it's like it's illegal. It's illegal. I'm like, no, it's, yeah, they no, always, it's not. And she'll turn on the light. Yeah, I so much. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh be like, I feel like you're trying the light. No, pull me out. I'm like, what? Like, the light's on, bro. Like, like what? Now that I think about it, I was like, that's pretty stupid. Hey, yo, uh, let's, uh, oh, let's talk I want to do this. I want to yeah. do this thing. I want to do this thing. Wait, wait, wait. I want to do this thing. Yeah. No, I want to do this thing real quick. Uh, 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 Where does sound to make on the mic right now? Go. Uh. <laughs> 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 It might not sound funny, but on our headphones, that shit's hilarious. Let me say <laughs> What's your current celebrity crush? And Megan Fox. Megan the Stallion? Megan Fox. <laughs> <laughs> My celebrity crush. Always. Always. About it. always nah, never change. Never. Madison Beer. Madison, Madison Beer. Beer. Oh I swear to God. God. I promise. I fucking promise each and every one of you out there, I'm going to meet her one day. And she's going to be my friend. And I'm going to move in from the friend zone to the end zone. I, that's a fucking Enzo. promise. Yeah. <laughs> you know who mine is? Ho Yeon. That girl from Squid Games. 
she pretty bad. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that right now. I don't even know what to say to that. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. That was fucking <laughs> shit up, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> What's an embarrassing song you guys do not like to play, but when you play it on your own, you guys love that shit? I'll put it on right now. Like, for me, I'm, I'm not going to keep it 100%. Maybe some of y'all agree with me. But when I listen to Big Time Rush, that shit's a banger. Bro, you just want to be, you want to be my boyfriend, and I'll be there. <laughs> You're fucking stupid, bro. Exactly. Hey, bro, I'll be just laughing this, bro. I'll be like this. Do it. Do you guys know about the Wu Tang album that's gone that's that's been missing? The only one? No. Well, I think missing. I think you told me about it, but I don't remember. Well they they have they had an album. It's called Once Upon a Time in Shaolin. It was recorded in a six six year period of time, secretly. Like secretly. And there's been only one album made. Only one. They actually auctioned it for two million. How before. many songs? Twenty six tracks at least. Damn. Twenty six tracks of Wu Tang. And the federal Department of Justice I took the album. So the FBI has the album right now. Or oh, not right now. So the FBI had the album, right? It was a one of a kind album and the FBI had it. I guess they auctioned it again and now these buyers bought it for seven million dollars for a one of a kind Wu Tang album. And they said they're gonna release it to the public too soon. How much did it cost? Seven million? Seven million for a one of a kind album. Just imagine that, man. That's crazy. I got a cool topic we can talk about. All right, let's say there's a party. Party starts at 8. What time should you show up to a party? 7.30. Oh, fuck. The party oh. hasn't even started yet. Oh, my fault, my fault. 9.30. What? 9.30. George, what time do you show up to a party? The party starts at 8. What time party should you show up? Party starts at 8. In reality, no one's pulling up to like 9. And I want to be there when there's a gang of people there. So I'm pulling up like 11. 11? Yeah. Fuck. fuck. Party starts at 8. Everybody shows up at 9. That's true. Everybody's coming in between 9 and 10, and I'm going to pull up at 11. You're going to be the... Because the party be starts at 8. Guy. People show up. 9.30, the rest of the people show up. The awkward stage. Nobody's talking. Nobody dancing. Like people just standing there. Mm. 10 o'clock hits. The DJ plays something I'm like... I'm going to be like this. The DJ plays eight. a little something. You're just <laughs> like, this DJ going crazy. 11, the party has gone off. And you show up, and you're ready to party. What time the party how, should end? That's how our Mexican people would be doing it, though. Like, if you want to invite people, like your like your Mexican family members, to like a little gathering, you gotta be like, show up. If you want them there, like around six, tell them show up at five, because they're gonna show up at six if you tell them to show up at five. That's how it is for us. Worst fashion trend ever: joggers. Fuck joggers, bro. Yeah, joggers. Joggers were the ugliest things ever, and I thought they were the fucking coolest thing when I when they came out. The G, the G watch, the G Shark, whatever watch. Oh, the G Shark. Yeah, bro, that's we thought, badass watch on your fucking we thought wrist, that was fucking bro. Badass, bro. Like you walk around like, look at my watch. That's just fat as fuck. And you're just like, what it was like fucking light blue and shit. I'm like, I can't. Oh, I have one. One performers used to wear fucking jeans, and a dress shirt and a fucking vest. And they had these fucking big ass shoes up to like fucking performers. Up. Yeah. Oh and yeah. Some, like, some, that's and, like and, Jonas Brothers and, and, type yeah, shit. Right and there. Yeah. And they had some Jordans on. I'd be like, why the fuck are they wearing? That's that like Justin perform? Bieber, huh? Yeah, yeah. I was like, why the fuck are they wearing that type? And they'll, they'll have like the 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 the, the what's that called the the tongue? Out yeah. Everything, like over the the jeans. Make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> 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 All right, back. Thank, we'll get the dog. Yeah, you, the Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. <laughs> Make sure you guys watch our last podcast and 